Hi, I'm Bea. My channel is about mixed media, art, journaling, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Hey all. Welcome back to day 23 for the Call August 2019. So this time I'm gonna play with napkins. I'm gonna do a sort of a layered collage. Uh, I also have to change a bit, a bit the medium for going. So far I mostly used the glue stick which is really nice with magazines and newspapers and book pages and you name it. But for um, napkins or also for tissue paper I actually prefer doing the liquid text. On the other hand when I use a really large surface I start spraying with the remount which is repositionable but I'm gonna do it outside so I'm not gonna do it in the studio so I'm gonna spray my page and I will be back. So I have sprayed my paper and I use just the top layer of the napkins. Otherwise you're running problems. And because you can reposition, you can play until you have it all you want it. Now it is napkin, so when I touch it now, the glue stick, uh, the glue spray starts to come through. So I still gonna use a matte medium to seal it, but that's the wrong one. So that's the real one. The other one was a mixture with some paint. So not what you really want for collage. I did rip it. There is a solution. But I do make sure that I have torn edges to patch it. Uh, it just seems less visible. But I'm not overly concerned because I'm going to cover up it anyway. And I have also here on the side some paints. Maybe I go in with paints afterwards, depending how it looks. Now I have grabbed a whole bunch of um, peacocks and, and also some flowers. So I'm not quite sure what I really want. I sh um, for sure want this but without the glasses. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use the water brush. The napkins like paper has one direction where you can tear it easily and the others I need to make a little bit too. The, the other side doesn't tear so easily so what helps you can use a little bit of water and I don't want um, straight edges I'd rather want a little bit organic edges so, if you don't have a water brush, uh, you could use a simple brush and just um, dip it in water. That works too. And I'm even thinking I want to get rid here a little bit also. That's more difficult. Smaller pieces are more difficult. Let's see. 
Now, which I want, I'm not sure. First of all, I have to remove the layers. I keep the white layers to wiping up stuff, paint and whatnot. So it is dry. Now I have to decide about the arrangement. Now I want it like this for sure. Maybe even just right to the edge. And then I also want to add flowers, but I'm not sure which one. I'm especially not sure about the color, that's why I try out also a pink one. See it? That's the part that takes the longest. To decide what works and what not. And I actually think I'm gonna go for this. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you out again. So. Yep. so, the thing with the napkins, if you want to see the color really clear, you have to have white. Now, I really want to see the peacock, so I'm gonna add a layer of gesso as soon as I have um, the flowers and this watch down. I don't care so much for a clear impression on this part, but for the peacock I make sure that I have underneath some white. So let's add first this one. I start somewhat from the middle. And maybe I should have sprayed it. It's a rather big piece again, but hey, no risk, no fun. So I'm gonna do it like that. The thing is, when you, as soon as the medium hits the napkin, it starts stretching because of the liquid. And that way you get wrinkles.
Now I'm going to use the heat tool again and let it dry completely. So now I need my chest saw and um, can't have to mark it a little bit. I think, I think I'm gonna go in with the white paint, paint marker. Now I'm going to use the brush to paint in. I really want the peacock to stand out. So I'm going to zoom you in a bit and see if I can show you the difference. So here it is over the white which we painted. And here it's over the non-painted background. I think it's a kind of a big difference. We still have to work on it. I'm going to add... Um, black outlines so now we're going to use the matte medium again more of a liquid medium not a heavy body lead medium I'm gonna work it a little bit more so that the peacock stands out a little bit more so what I do I add shadows and highlights and as the napkins has shadows here already I'm gonna add more shadows around him here with the Stabilo Oil pencil which is water soluble and on the other side I'm gonna add white and I use the pit pen artist pen which is uh, also you can also move it around while it is still wet so that's what I'm doing here and Now color or not color? That's the question. Um, I'm only going to use a tiny bit and that's a kind of uh, matte, very opaque paint. Maybe some gold. Those are iridescent. They are from Shakar. Some gold. Be nice too, I think. Let's see. I think I need a little bit pink here. Again, that's an iridescent. This time it is from Pivio. Whatever you can get your hand on. <laughs> That's what I usually use. And 
you just don't have to paint it um, to cover up everything. I still want to see the different napkins in between. And just for balance, I need a little bit of ink here too. Okay. Yep. Now I have to try it again. So my last step is going to be outline the peacock. Um, this time I'm not going to activate it. I'm just going to leave it as it is. The peacock, um, there was actually on the napkin, there was like this, this little crown, but I decided not to <laughs> cut it out, but rather going to do it myself. Just like this. So, and then of course we need the white of the eye. And for those that I use an acrylic paint marker. Here we are. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you soon again. Take care.